June marks the one-year anniversary of the Roe v. Wade decision being overturned. After the Dobbs v. Jackson Supreme case decision, there was much confusion regarding the law in Arizona surrounding the legalities of abortion within the state. I took a deeper look into one year later why that confusion still remains. The June 2022 Dobbs v. Jackson decision allowed the states to regulate their own laws restricting abortion. This landmark judgment stirred controversy and confusion across the country, impacting some states like Arizona more significantly than others. Since the overturn, there's been a lot of confusion, and not only in the medical community and the legal community, but among patients. So it's been confusing for patients. Many patients, even to this day, are confused if abortion is legal in our state. Abortion is legal in Arizona up to 15 weeks. However, Dr. Goodrick says the changing laws have impacted how doctors treat their patients. Physicians in general and hospitals are much more hesitant to help women that are having complications of pregnancy, miscarriages, ectopic pregnancies, premature rupture of membranes. Um, they're much more hesitant to help. Dr. Goodrick goes on to say that all people of reproductive age are feeling the effects of the changing law. However, those who advocate against abortion say they'll continue to educate individuals to combat the confusion. Current president of Center for Arizona Policy, Kathy Harrod, says that information includes telling the public about reproductive issues and expanding pregnancy support. We have a pro-life movement, pregnancy resource centers that have expanded their services to meet the needs of more and more women who choose to carry their children or choose a place for adoption. Dr. Goodrick says that the path of both the abortion rights and anti-abortion movement hinges on the outcome of the 2024 election. So the main thing is to get out and vote and get people you care about to vote. 